Hi there, this is a video tutorial on how to use my home renovation planner. If you are wanting to plan a project to renovate your house, then this is a perfect spreadsheet to use. It has six tabs on the bottom uh, for organization purposes. And let's start with the first one. This is the main renovation planner. So at the top, you can put your date started, double click in here and choose a date, estimated completion date, uh, your budget, and the amount spent. Now these two uh, come in from your project budget tab and it will automatically um, put the numbers in for you. Um, so here is the first line. We'll start here. Uh, once you have each one of these done, you can check it off. Uh, there's a status, not started in progress or complete. And then so say um, the item is we're going to paint the deck. Uh, we're going to paint the deck white. Who's going to do it? You could put me or someone else. You can put the contact info, the start date, uh, the due date, estimated cost, and estimated time to complete and notes. The second tab is your idea list. So this is a place to jot down ideas of what you want to do. Um, and let's see. So we're going to start here with the categories. You've got design, decor, interior, or hacks. Um, an exterior, uh, if you wanted to add to it, you could add another item. And you hit done, apply to all, and this would add to um, here. So if there's another category you wanted to add. Okay, so if we wanted to talk about painting the wall, so we could paint the wall. Um, we want to paint the wall gray, our budget cost and then a link of where we found this idea and then notes vendor research log so this is a place to research all the vendors that you actually want to use to make this happen uh, so you've got a status contacted discussing hired not hiring signed contract hired and down payment paid hired and paid in full uh, the vendor's name contact name email category uh, place for their website, estimated time to complete, total cost, the amount paid, and balance due, and then uh, balance due date. So you can put all that in. Uh, there's a to-do list. So we've got a high priority, a medium priority, and a low priority list. So this, you would just delete this out. Once you delete it out, it's going to make it white. Um, so if we're going to have, let's see, um, paint the hallway. We want to get this done by the 27th and if this is complete or not. Once you are done checking these off, um, it will move your chart here as well. Your project budget. Uh, so this is your target budget, your total spent and total remaining budget. So in here we're going to put the category um, tear down deck. And then it actually costs 890 and then there's a difference. Um, once you put on whatever you have spent, it will add this up here. So if you spend $1,000, it will change your total spent and then total remaining in budget. And here is the home renovation checklist. So say if you wanted to renovate the entire home, um, then this is a checklist for each category of the house. So then there's one for exterior and all the things that need to be done, the overall, kitchen, three bathrooms, three bedrooms, an entryway, laundry room, and living room. Uh, there's a place for notes and a shopping list. So say this is the, and if you wanted to change this, you totally could. You just have to highlight this and change it to, um, you know, if you wanted to change it to interior, you could. Um, so then we've got room for design, designer, the demo, electric, plumbing, flooring, walls, fireplace, decor, mm -hmm. painting the walls, painting the trim, lighting, wallpaper. So all these are, you know, you can change it to, um, oops, whatever you would like. Once you're done, you can just check it off. If there's nothing in here, uh, you can just leave that blank. If you wanted to print this out, you could. You just go to file. Let's uncheck these boxes first. File print. Um, if you did current sheet and fit the width, it would look like this and you'd have two pages landscape 
if you did portrait, it would all go on one page. So then you could just check it off and you can put this in a notebook as well if this would help you. Um, so that's how that works. Um, you can change the colors easily. Highlight, hit fill color, and change it to whatever you want. Um, you can add you can add new tabs, you can add, you know, new sections if you wanted to, um, you know, copy this whole thing and then add a whole section, you just hit copy and then paste it all the way at the bottom. And it will paste that for you. So um, that is it for the home renovation planner. Um, this is super, super awesome. I hope this helps you guys. Um, I do have four different colors available. If you found me on YouTube, feel free to click in the link in the description below to purchase this spreadsheet uh, on Etsy or my website uh, would be fine. So savvyandthriving.com. All right, guys, thanks so much, and I hope you all have a great one.